If you guys follow me on Weekly Wood Talk, it's my second channel. You can subscribe to it in the link in the description below. Basically, I said I was going to get a new table saw this weekend, and I did have the opportunity to do that. This is a Delta 2014 table saw, and it I got it from Lowe's. So I want to make a few jigs for it, and I'm going to start by making this miter slot that's very simple and easy. Right before we start, I do want to ask you guys, do you have any uh, way to protect the cast iron top on this table saw? Because um, I can see patches forming on it on top, and I'm not sure if it's like really thin rust or something. I just want to protect it as quick as possible. So if anyone has any recommendations, please leave them in the comments, guys. So I'm going to try to make this project using just one of these 3 quarter inch, 2 foot by 4 foot sheets of particle board. And the thing about this is, is, is it's really flat and it's really cheap. Now I'm going to start by making a 20 inch cut over on my table saw. facing my saw blade and my 20 inch length is the depth of it and what I can do now is cut runners for this board so that it can easily slide back and forth. Now you could use the particle board for your runners but it's probably not the best idea so what I'm going to do is use this piece of solid wood and I think this is just yellow pine. You're probably going to want to use a hardwood but I'm making this all from scratch so I think it will work. smooth and what I can do now is attach them to my table saw sled. So what you're going to want to do now is roughly cut your miter tracks to the size that you need so I have a little bit hanging off each end here. I can take my particle board, put it with my blade below the table. If your blade doesn't go below the table, you can just take your blade out. And what you want to do is set your fence. Make sure it's square to your blade. Set it and even it up in the center of your board. And what you can do now is glue and add some small screws to the bottom. And place your piece right on top. Now what I do is I butt it up against the fence and then I center it and I slowly bring it on down. And you can add a bit of weight to help really support it. And what I'm going to do is add a bag of sand and that should really uh, do a nice job holding it down. So once the runners were tacky, I took off the board and put a few screws in them. Now as you can see right here, I was going to put a screw in and it split right on this, um, this knot. Now I could replace this runner, but it's going to work exactly the same. So I don't see any point in doing that and wasting this good piece of wood. So what I'm going to do is add a few more screws on here just to kind of hold these in place. So what I did was raise my blade all the way to the top. I cut off the extra stuff on the runners and I waxed them. And now what I can do is run it through my saw and go about halfway through but not quite. And now what I can do is take my framing square put it on the line where the saw blade cut and I can just draw a line all the way down the board so I know where it is. And now what I'm going to do is take this framing square, line it up to my saw mark and basically you want to center it as best as you can. And then you can connect the line from here down and connect the line from there down. All right, so I apologize if you hear a lot of rain in the background, but what I'm doing now is I took two two by fours and I ripped them so they're about 
an inch and a, so I ripped them so they're actually two inches now. And I did that to two of them, cut 45 degree angles on them. And what I'm going to do is line up the back on the line so that basically this is a nice smooth finish back here. And same for this side. Now what I have to do is glue and screw this in along the line. Then I can run it through and cut it. So I'm going to start by putting some glue on the bottom. And from there I'll flip it, put it on my line. This is all set on this side, and now what I can do is take this piece, put it on this side, and I can take my square, align everything so it's exactly centered, and do the same. And now what I can do is take this carpenter square, set it up on my side that's bolted down, or screwed down, and take this other piece, which I cut to almost the right size, but you want to butt it up against this piece as best as you can. And basically you want to make sure that this is exactly square. It doesn't matter if these are off a tad bit because when the angles combine they'll both equal 90. And now I can run it through here just to square everything off. Wow. 